Hey guys, Richie from Fred Junkies and we are back. Uh, super excited to be back sat here doing what I love to do. It's been a while, um, but I won't go on about it now. We're going to get straight into the video, okay? Um, I put a post out in my community tab a little while back um, asking, genuinely asking, no clickbait. You know, I'm not, I'm not here for that shit. I, I, need a, I need an answer still, or want an answer. Um, I'm looking for a name in the crap model of this Greco um, hollow body. So um, I was looking for an old Gibson. And like most people, just uh, out, out of my price range, you know, I couldn't justify paying it. Looking at some other alternatives um, that, you know, could perhaps match them on playability and tone. Then I started looking for pickups and I thought, oh, I'll get some aftermarket pickups, put them in my other guitar. And then I thought, well, these pickups are going to cost like three, four hundred quid. You know, if I just nut up a bit more, I might get an old Japanese guitar, which led me to the Greek Home. And then I've been looking for these Gregos for a while, and I found this particular one over at RWB uh, Music in New York, that's in the UK. I'll drop a link to these guys. These guys have been incredible with me throughout this whole thing, um, which leads me on to the point. So they had a guitar up um, listed in, as a Greco ES335, um, which I hadn't seen them listed anywhere else like that. Uh, they're usually listed up as an SA model. Um, and this particular one had a lot of bits that other SA models didn't have. Um, so the guys over at York Music done, done their fair share of research. Um, they go on to just say that they had basically started the research by looking at the SA models, but none of them were the same as the guitar that he'd been given to sell. So he was selling this for somebody else. So he searched through all the online catalogs that were available from 1960 to 1980 and the only picture that came close to what he had for sale was a very poor picture in the 1972 catalog. The key features were a double bound body, single block inlays on the fretboard, the Greco embossed pickups and bound F-holes. Yes, also the trapeze and the layout, but they were both common around that era. And the only picture that ticked all those features was in the 1972 catalog. It's under the model heading of ES-335. Now the ES-335 had not appeared in any of the other catalogs before or since up to and including 1980. We have looked at all the pickups and using their number codes we established a date from 1974. And additional information found out in my research that a warning that I may be using the word lawsuit. There's no serial number and that apparently is a sign that is pre-75. Um, it's also commonly perceived that lawsuit guitars do not have serial numbers. So I think that's a, I think that's a fair share of research that the, um, the seller had done there. So yeah, I just wanted to put this video together and see if there were any guys out there who really had more knowledge than me. Um, whilst I play vintage instruments, I'm not an expert. I know enough to get by, but um, there's a lot more people, a lot more educated in that area than I am. Um, so yeah, this, this video is like a bit of a can you help video. You know, or have you have you got have you got one like this? You know, I think I've seen one other um, like this for sale in Russia. So yeah, this video is is a video to start me back off kicking off the channel again, um, asking for your guys' help. A nice way of getting you involved, a genuine way of asking for your help. You know, I'm not clickbaiting you. Right? I generally want to find out what this guitar is, um, and I thought it'd be nice to show you how it sounds. It's a lovely playing guitar and I absolutely adore it. So I'm just going to do some playing. I'm going to play some clean and I'm going to play some dirty. Um, and if you made it this far, guys, uh, thank you for being here. And anybody new to the channel, let's, uh, let's, let's build it up. I really want to go hard this year. You know, if you could like, subscribe and share. I hate saying that, but you know, I kind of got them. Um, it would mean a lot to me and to the channel. Um, I'm just going to play you out. If you see these guitars and you're after no Gibson, these are pretty damn good, man. Um, Playability is amazing. The tone is, is spot on. It's Richie from Fred Junkies. Thanks so much for being here. Peace.
Thank <laughs> you. 